Rahman Rahim. I start in the name of Allah, the All Merciful, the Ever Merciful, and the Everlasting Curse be on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, as usual, I start my episode with one of the sayings of the Master of Martyrs, Al Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam, when he says, It's better to die on your feet than to live on your knees. Our respected viewers, peace be upon you and welcome to Imam Hussein, a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday, then talking about some of the events and stories happened to him during his holy life, then mentioning some of the uh, prophetic quotes said in his right by the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, ending up with his unmatchable martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, in the last episode, we have started talking about the sedition or fitna in Kufa, and we stopped at the speech of Abdullah bin Muslim bin Rabia, who is one of the loyalists of Benu Umayyah, and his speech was directed to Al Nu'man bin Bashir. Dear viewers, this same Abdullah bin Muslim promptly dispatched a letter to Yazid bin Muawiyah. In it, he denounced Ibn Bashir and informed him of Muslim bin Aqid's presence in Kufa and the allegiance of the city's Shia. If you have any need of Kufa to remain yours, he wrote to him, then send it a strong man who will carry out your orders and act in the same way as you would against your enemy. Al Nu'man bin Mashir is a weak man, or at least he's acting like one of those weak people. Abdullah bin Muslim was not the only such individual who wrote to Yazid with similar sentiments. Amr bin Uqba, Omar bin Sa'ad, and Amr bin al Walid, and others as well, also sent letters much like that of Ibn Muslim. When the letters arrived, Yazid called on his servant and advisor, Sir John or Sir John, to advise him. What is your view, he says, concerning Imam al Hussein's sending of Muslim bin Aqil to Kufa to receive the oath of allegiance on his behalf? He asked Sir John. Furthermore, I have learned that Al Nu'man is a weak person and received other negative reports about him. Who else do you think I should appoint as a governor of Kufa? Our respected viewers, Sir John appealed to the opinion of the deceased Muawiyah bin Abi Sufyan on the matter, pointing out that he had written a letter appointing Ubaidillah bin Ziyad as governor of Kufa, and Sir John urged him, meaning Yazid bin Muawiyah, to unite. Kufa and Basra under his governors. Yazid agreed to this advice, sending Ubaidillah bin Ziyad the following letter of appointment, the one which I'm going to read out for you. Our respected viewers, Yazid bin Muawiyah says in the letter which he sent to Ubaidillah bin Ziyad the following My loyalists among the people of Kufa have informed me that Ibn Aqil is there, meaning he is in Kufa, gathering units in order to spread rebellion among the Muslims. Therefore, Yazid bin Muawiyah says, when you read this letter of mine, go to Kufa and search for Ibn Aqil, as if you were looking for a bead until you find him, then capture, kill, or exile him. Upon receiving the letter, Ubaidillah bin Ziyad made an immediate preparations to travel to Kufa in order to find Muslim bin Aqil. Peace be upon you, O Master of Martyrs, when you were born, and when you were murdered, and when you will be resurrected again. Our respected viewers, this is what we have for you in today's episode. Let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the Master of our time to interpret the message of His Grandfather who says, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.